Yo, what's up guys, it's Opal. Before we get started, I wanted to give a quick shout out to Complies for the inspiration behind this. His vid will be in the description. In this video, I'll be showing you my personal settings to help reduce lag, better your frames, or boost the smoothness of your game. Make sure to watch to the end because I will be going over every little thing I know that can help benefit your game. If you guys do enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like and a comment as well as hitting the sub button. Love you guys, now let's get started. So, heading over to our settings and starting off in gameplay. Starting off with Interact Prompt Style, I personally have Compact, but if you're new, I would probably leave it on default to help show the tips and tricks that uh, the game provides. Next, we have button hints. Turn this off unless you're new. It'll help display what button is needed for each legend's ability. Personally, I have it off because it looks better. For crosshair damage feedback, I have it as off. You can turn it on and it just shows a crosshair every time you get a hit. It just reduces visual clutter if you turn it off. For damage numbers, I have this one on both because one, it looks cool, and second, it helps me see the shield slash flesh damage. It helps me distinguish the difference between the two while I'm in a fight. Ping opacity, I have that on faded. The default looks a little too thick in my opinion. Obituaries is a must need, that's like your kill feed. Mini map rotate is a must as well for having on when you're dropping out of the ship and also just running around the map, it makes it easier to, to course your direction. Weapon auto cycle on empty. I have this on off. I don't like my guns auto switching when they're out of ammo. Sometimes in a fight, I like to use the same gun, like an SMG. I'll just reload it and continue using that same weapon to fight. Auto sprint. I personally have this off being a mouse and keyboard player. Being a controller player, you might want to turn it on. Double tap sprint. I have this off. Jetpack control. I don't really play Valk. Uh, don't know the difference between the two, honestly. Incoming damage feedback. I used to have this on 3D, but then I switched it to 2D recently. It just helps with visual clutter. Taking damage closes death box or crafting menu. I have this off. Um, if you're in a death box trying to shield swap and you have it on, then it'll take you out of the death box and you might not be able to get the shield swap. Hop up, pop up, I have this off. Streamer mode, I have this off. If you're trying to hide players' names in the kill feed, this is a good way to do it if you wanna, you know, switch them on and off. Anonymous mode, I have this enabled personally because I'm weird. Um, most people have it disabled because they, you know, want it, people to see their names. Usage sharing, uh, I personally have this off. Performance display, I personally have this on to display my FPS and my ping. Uh, club invites, I have this disabled. Communication filter, you can leave this just as everybody or if you want to only see friends talk or if you just want to see nobody talk because you have no friends like me, then go ahead. Reticle, go over some reticles that I use. Personally, my favorite one that I use is uh, this light blue cyan one. You can copy the numbers here. Another one I like to use is this lime green. It's very vibrant, very good on all the maps. Lastly, another reticle I like to use is this pink one. It's got a nice glow on like all the maps and it's very vibrant as well. On the laser sight, I just use the same color as my reticle. Colorblind mode, I leave it as off. Subtitles, uh, if you want subtitles on or off, there you go. Subtitle size, I have that as normal. I mean, they're off, so it doesn't really matter. Enable accessible chat features is a big thing with FPS. Uh, make sure you turn this off as well as convert incoming voice to chat text and play incoming text chat as speech. Make sure you turn these off because when text is on your screen being displayed as speech in your ears, it makes your game lag. Heading to mouse and keyboard now. I personally play a 1.8 sends at 800 DPI, which is around 29 centimeters per 360. My ADS, is one and my per optic ADS sensitivity is off. Mouse Excel, I have turned off. Mouse Invert, I also have turned off. Lighting effects, depends on your peripherals. You can turn that off or on. I have that on. Key binds, it's all personal preference for these other than a few important binds. I have my tab shape key bound to scroll wheel down and my jump key bound to scroll wheel up. I also have crouch toggle as C to help with my super gliding. My one side mouse button is bound to alternate interact. The other side mouse key is bound to holster to make it easy to quick slide. My inspect is on my left alt key. It's, uh, yeah, flashy, flashy. My ping is on Z. Push to talk is on T. I have my shield battery bound to five and I have my med kit bound to six. This makes it easier when in a fight, you don't have to access your heal menu. I don't know too much about controller. Um, heading into f video. Here we'll be going over my video settings, things that will also help boost your FPS and also smooth out the game. I have my display mode on full screen. I personally play in a 1920 by 1080 resolution, which means my aspect ratio is 16 by nine. My brightness is 
and I play at 110 FOV. FOV ability scaling, make sure this is disabled. This is helpful for Octane Stimming and Bloodhound Alt and other various abilities. Sprint View Shake, make sure this is minimal. Uh, if you have this on normal, your head will bob. I have V-Sync disabled. NVIDIA Reflex, I have that on enabled plus boost. That just helps with FPS boost and smoothness of the game. Adaptive Resolution FPS Target, that's at zero. Anti-Aliasing, I have that at none. Texture streaming budget, I have this on very low. Going any lower than very low might make your game look like trash. Going any higher might lower your FPS. Texture filtering, I have this on bilinear. Ambient occlusion quality disabled. Sun shadow coverage low. Sun shadow detail low. Spot shadow detail is disabled. Volumetric lighting is disabled. Dynamic spot shadows disabled. Model detail low. Effects detail low. Impact marks I have disabled right now, but I would turn those to low. Uh, those help with where bullets land, and that may tell you a direction where an enemy is shooting you from. And then ragdolls, I have this as low. Heading over to audio, master volume is at 100. Voice chat input, I like to troll my teammates, so I use my webcam mic. Uh, voice chat record mode, I have push to talk. Open mic record threshold doesn't really matter unless you use an open mic. Incoming voice chat volume, I like it at 75%. Sound effects is at 100%. Dialogue uh, is at 10%. I don't like hearing the voices. It's not really, it's so much clutter. Music volume zero, lobby music zero. Uh, I don't like listening to the music. I usually play my own music. And then sound and background I have off because when you tab out in this game, you can hear the noises of when you're tabbed out. So I leave this off. Next, we can head over to the Steam launch options. Go to your Steam library by clicking the arrow here in your bottom right and going to your library or however you do that. Find Apex Legends, right click and find property. In the general tab, you will find the launch options. Copy and paste the command in the description into this bar right here. These launch options will help your game reduce FPS and also help with a bunch of other things inside of the game as well. This command right here launches your game in full screen as a default every single time. This next command removes unnecessary particles and clutter for better FPS. This command right here caps your game's frame rate. You can change this based off how many frames you want to cap your game. Always go one frame above what you want. For example, I want 144, so I put 145. This cluster of commands right here removes more particles, smooths your game, and helps with FPS. Next, click on local files on the left side. Click browse, and here you will find all your game's files. Click on CFG, and then auto exec. If you don't already have an auto exec file, create one by typing in all lowercase, autoexec.cfg, and pressing enter. Next, copy the text from the link in the description and paste it into this document. With this autoexec, it allows you to play 120 FOV by clicking your F12 key, and also removes a lot of random particles that aren't needed and helps boost FPS. After that, and exit, and you should be good. Something else that may help with boosting frames is to head over to your save games folder. By doing so, press your Windows R key to open the run application. Here, type in saved games and press enter. This will take you to your saved games folder. Click on respawn, apex, local, and then video config. You can change the numerical values in the text or copy and paste the text from the link in the description to get the settings easier. After you're done so, click save, exit, go to properties, and make sure this is a read only file. If you want to change them later, you'll have to go back and make sure that read only is unchecked and then you'll be able to change them. Hope you guys enjoyed and I really hope this helped. I want to continue and try and do different videos like this along with gameplays. Don't forget to like this video. If it helped, it also helps me out. And also subscribe for more Apex videos in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching.